Hello and welcome to the Fusion Artist Studio, where each week we have an opportunity to talk with an artist or someone involved with the arts in Marion and Grant County. And today we're going to talk with someone that we have not spoken with before. And we have to clarify at the outset that the arts encompasses more than people who are painters and sculptors and craftsmen and this sort of thing. There are supporters of the arts, people for whom the arts are important and they do what they can. They use the resources that they have to make the arts happen in Marion and Grant County. We have such a person today, Mr. Chris Kennedy. Welcome. Thank you. Ed. You are not a painter. It. You are not a sculptor. You are not a dancer. Well, I, I can paint. I do, I do like to paint, and that's part of kind of my story about being interested in art, too. And you come by that genetically. Yes, because... Through Harriet Kennedy. You knew my aunt then. I knew your aunt, yes. Harriet taught me how to paint. Uh, sitting down at the uh, dining room table with a bunch of cousins, uh, she was great at uh, sharing her, her gift of art and uh, teaching art. Okay, Harriet Kennedy was an artist in Marion for many, many years died a few years ago and left behind quite a legacy she of, really did of art that she had done and people that she had influenced through the years so yeah you come by it genetically then out of the uh, eight children in in harriet's in my father's family uh, my dad bill kennedy was harriet's brother right and ken kennedy <clears throat> as well who just recently passed away as well yes yes yeah. but to, out of the eight children there were six that were very talented at art, and they were all talented in something different. Um, you know, the oldest was Paul. He probably could do like the Disney. He was actually offered a job at Disney in California, but couldn't couldn't make that work. Um, Aunt Joe was a fashion illustrator in high school. Did like professional work in high school, and she these all these went to Marion High School, and studied with Gracie Cleveland, was the name sure. of the art teacher back then. And that they that was kind of their mentor. And then um, my dad, uh, LaCroix, was, did poetry. Uh, and my dad, um, he was uh, really good at sketching. Nobody, people probably didn't realize that. He was a great uh, making things look very real. And then um, Aunt Mert was a sculptor. Um, Harriet was the prolific painter of various portraits and, and flowers and all. And then Ken came along, and he was good at everything. And he became the head art teacher at Marion High School for 10 years. Sure, yes. Remember that yes. back in the 60s? And I then do. He went on to uh, help my dad and ran one of our uh, facilities up in Elkhart for 45 years. Okay, so, okay. And then uh, Philip, the youngest, can sing. So um, we, uh, we kind of have all of that going on. But I th think my, my grandfather... Well, you kind of have an arts alliance in the family. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> exactly. My... Uh, my um, grandfather's mother they said used to paint pottery you know like plates mm -hmm. and all that and then before it's glazed yes yeah. and uh, she's from um la fountain back okay. in the old old days and then my grandfather inherited the art and then then my grandmother um look uh lacroix she um was a singer and uh, played piano so i um my brother and i my mom was a singer uh dorothea hartson so uh, when she became Kennedy after marrying my dad, uh, she used to sing as I was a child growing up, and my brother and I have sung too. So I kind of have both those passions. I, I, I have kept up with the art, uh, kind of took a big break. I'd only draw my children after, uh, after college. But it, when I went to Bennett High School, I used to do lots of art. That was kind of my thing, uh, one of the things I enjoyed the most, working with Harriet. And then after that, um, kind of took a break during college and got into singing. And so I've sung, led youth choirs uh, down south when I was at our Gulfport facility. Uh, and I, I also am a cantor and song leader at our church right now. Okay. And, uh, and so then I kind of got back into art with my daughter because she started getting into it. And uh, Caitlin and uh, Kristen enjoys um, it, it too. But Caitlin kind of has really stepped up with it. And uh, so I, they asked me to paint paintings for their weddings. So I did that so they oh, have nice. something that That's dad nice. did. Yeah. Just to remember. Do you do you still paint? Do you enjoy it? Yeah, I've gotten into it since they, they just got married up about three years ago. So I, I did one for each of the couples for their weddings. And then I started painting again and uh, paint with a neighbor. He and his wife were really not wonderful artists down the, the way from my house. And so kind of got back into it and uh, just recently did a, a sunset beach scene and uh, 
you know, Tuscan scene. So I'm, I'm just kind of starting to kind of get back yeah. into it. I suppose we need to identify you with your day job for just a minute. Hartson Kennedy is a name that is known by everybody in Marion and Grant County. It's a local industry, uh, mainly uh, countertops for kitchens, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, you have been there all of your working life. Correct. Yeah. And your title there now is? I'm the president and CEO. Okay. So I run the company. And my brother is uh, down south, and um, he's, um, he and I are both presidents, but I'm the CEO. And he runs uh, the group down south. But uh, I'm kind of responsible for everything from up here at the corporate office in Marion. But, yeah, we, Ed, we do make laminate countertops, like in your kitchen and bathroom. And we sell at about any place you would sell a laminate top wholesale. Uh, you know, we sell to kitchen dealers, fabricators of our product. We service um, Home Depot and Lowe's. In various sure, a couple of pretty good accounts. Yeah, yes, they're, they're great, great customers, great people to work with. Um, we also do a lot with multifamily. We've gotten into that. And because of that, we were asked by our multifamily customers, um, what else can you do? And so we said, what do you want us to do? And so we started doing a little bit more to support them, like um, cultured marble vanities and some cabinet um, applications. So um, kind of any, any of those uh, are the areas that we uh, serve in, in our industry. So we're going to put all these involvements aside for just a minute and talk about yet another involvement in your life, which is the Fusion Arts Alliance and the commission mm -hmm. that Mayor Allenbaugh created, what, about a year ago now, mm -hmm. uh, to be a coordinator, I guess, for the arts in Marion, City of Marion, extending out into Grant County. Uh, but the, the commission is the agency of government that works with the uh, Fusion Arts Alliance, which is not affiliated with government. Is that a fair way of describing the relationship? Yes. Let's talk about the uh, um, commission and what your marching orders were from the mayor and the directions that uh, you folks are taking it in now. Right. Um, Jess, the mayor Jess had asked us if we would be interested in helping with this commission, and he asked some really wonderful people. Um, we, we have uh, a lot of very talented artists and people that support the arts uh, who are very passionate about the arts in Marion. And I think he did a great job of uh, inviting several of these folks, and then others have come on board as we have kind of talked about it. But we have nine commissioners. and. Um, you know, our mission statement is, is to create um, a vibrant arts community in Marion and the surrounding community. But we're basically focusing on Marion. And I know um, the Fusion Arts uh, Alliance is kind of has a broader scope uh, and works with the individual artists um, with lots of great projects. So we want to work hand in hand with them and so help support them and all the artists. We want to be a conduit to facilitate people's awareness of the arts and of the artists and support them in what they do and support the Fusion Arts Alliance. And uh, part of this um, collaboration had um, actually led me to talk with uh, Greg Phoebe quite a bit about having a home for the arts. So that's been a big project. Something he is passionate about. Yes. He's very passionate about it, and actually, um, we kind of talked about this a few years ago, and we approached um, the uh, Design Co., affiliated mm -hmm. with- Marion Design Co. Marion Design Co. Which is affiliated with the university. Correct. So we approached uh, Wendy Puffer and her group of folks and said, um, what would you think about it if we could have an art center and we could combine all of us together? And she just thought that was the best idea. She said we could collaborate, we could synergize, we could do so much downtown if we could you know, have a facility of some type where we could all be together and share all of our ideas and our dreams and programs. And uh, she, she got really excited about it and got us excited about it. And Greg is always excited about the arts. So, you know. Yeah, so that's a, kind of a perfect uh, kind of coming together of the three different groups. The buzzword is synergy, I think. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> you, you got it. So, so that's um, kind of where we're at right now. And we actually had an opportunity. Uh, Wendy um, led the Third Path cohort for the um, uh, Community Foundation of Grant County 
uh, for a really wonderful grant that they are offering, which would um, be for uh, $150,000. This it's is a competitive grant. Yes, right? you probably heard about it. And uh, Greg took the lead and did a fabulous job of, of writing the grant for all three of our arts groups to help us with some of the costs and expenses of what we're dealing with and also possibly applying that to a permanent location that we're working on right now. So we were excited to be a part of that and uh, it kind of helped us see how we could all work together really well. Do you see this uh, finding a home as being your top priority? F I a home for art in Marion? All all creatures in art? Yes, I, th I think that is probably our top priority right now. Uh, although there's a lot of different events that Fusion is working on and um, our CMAC or City of Marion Arts Commission, we, we're working on an event uh, going to be called Show the Love and it's going to be a virtual kind of like happy hour to feature uh, several different artists and let them tell their story and what they're passionate about to Good. the audience. Scheduled yet? Uh, it's. I think we're looking at Possibly April 29th, but we'll have to confirm that as, as the date. COVID has uh, intruded into everyone's lives. Mm -hmm. uh, what's it done to the arts in Marion? Well, it's um, caused us to have very uh, creative Zoom meetings. You know, we, uh, we meet that way uh, every month and um, talk about having virtual, um, you know, um, meetings uh, in the future because we're just not sure when this will end. Originally we started having our, our City of Marion Arts Commission meetings at Bobby Pittman's Kingdom. Sure. Because yeah. he's um, co-commissioner, uh, co-chairman, excuse me, with, with me on the commission. And he uh, made that available and it was kind of a, a fun place to have our meetings. Um, so, you know, with COVID, we, we've really gone more to the Zoom uh, meeting format, but still make it available for anybody that feels comfortable to go down to, to Bobby's and, and meet from down there. Step up and take the uh, long view across the landscape for a minute. In the years ahead, what do you see happening to the arts, both fine arts and performing arts in Marion and Grant County, and what is most needed in the way of support from the broader community? Well, I think we are on the edge of, as Greg says, a, an arts renaissance in, in Marion. Um, we have so many great people working together to see what we can do as a group. Uh, I see this only getting more exciting and getting better. And, uh, you know, like Bobby's had some events that have been really successful. Uh, Tashima is on our Arts Commission. She is um, just amazing and doing more and more things. Tashima Davis. Yes, the present um, head art teacher at Marion High School. Uh, she, um, she has done numerous um, uh, shows and she has her Echo Art Gallery uh, as well as teaches. Which is downtown. Yes, so uh, we're really proud of her and what she's done uh, as one of the, um, yeah, she's the program director for the Arts Commission. Um, and Wendy Puffer is the secretary, uh, and um, Eric Marshall is our treasurer. And Eric, you know, he has done so many great things uh, with his photography. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and he's an, involved on the community foundation. So we have a lot of, you know, connections with a lot of different people. Um, I'm serving on the board of the community foundation of Grant County as well. There are so many wonderful leaders over there, and, uh, you know, Don Brown is doing a great job of, of raising up uh, the next generation of young leaders uh, that work with her. So uh, we only see bigger and better things coming to Grant County through their efforts. What are we not doing that we ought to be doing as a community? Um, I think we are doing it now, but I think working together is, is just an incredible, like you said, synergy. Um, working together, we can accomplish so much. Um, and I think people have known that, and I think they're really trying. And I know that's what Mayor Justice tried to do, too, is to get people that would, you know, be able to come in and make things better. And that's what, as a, a business owner, I feel like, you know, Hearts and Kennedy has been very blessed to be in this community for 73 years. And we have fantastic employees that, you know, work in the surrounding area. And um, 
I just feel like if businesses like ours can find a way to give back to the city, um, we can make Marion better if we all do our, our little part. And uh, that's why I want to help, uh, you know, try to see what I can do with Greg and with all the folks on the Arts Commission, Design Co. and Fusion Arts Alliance to, to find a home for the arts so that we can, you know, have people working together uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. And involvement in the arts does not necessarily mean that you go out and paint or compose sonatas. No, no. Uh, people with simply an interest in supporting the arts are needed. Welcome. Oh, definitely. Yeah, there's so many ways you can enjoy art. And, you know, we've been talking with other, um, there's so many great nonprofit folks in this area, in, in Marion. Um, you know, Shane Beal with Hope House, we work with those folks. Um, Rick Barrera, you know, with Bavaria. Uh, yes, oh, Bavaria yeah. with um, the Grant County Rescue Mission. He and his group. Um, He's kind of a miracle worker. He is, yeah. They, yeah. Those two guys both are bright lights in the community. And uh, I work with both of them because we actually hire some of their people, and we're blessed to have them. We need them, and they need jobs, so it's it's great. And we try to reinforce what they're trying to do by you know growing in their own confidence and getting over their struggles and uh, having a better life. And so I can see how you know even the arts can make a person have more self worth and self fulfillment. So we've been talking about how do we bring the arts to people that can't afford or can't, have never been exposed to them, you know? So there's there's a lot of neat things that could happen there. Um, there's there's um, countless ways people could get involved in the performing arts. You know, we have uh, Kathy Witherspoon is, is on our commission and she used to do performing art. Right. Uh, and and uh, she's, uh, you know, such a gracious person who really strives hard in the community with um, thriving families and, you know, working hand in hand with trying to help people. Given the background that you have, you, you, you came from an established family, family with lots of talent, lots of people in the family. What kept you in Marion? Well, our family business, you know, like I said, we've been here all these years, and I actually was down south. We have a branch down in Gulfport, Mississippi, and I was down there for 17 years. Okay. And that's uh, where I met my wife, Kim, and, uh, and then we raised our daughters until... Uh, 2002 when we moved back to back so you were here. gone for a couple of decades yes yeah and when did you return 2002 okay uh, I kept telling my dad I needed to get back up here sometime and he said don't worry I'm not retiring anytime soon but uh, we waited. But you were starting to talk funny huh yeah I, I, yeah I, he's got to he's get rid of that drawl I can say y'all like like I'm still from down there you know but I love the people down at our Gulfport facility and in, in, in the south. And, and we have a whole community of friends down there because I, I was there for 17 years and my wife's from there. But when we came up here, our, our, it was a perfect timing because my mom had a massive stroke and she just barely survived through lots of prayer. And um, dad took care of her like a queen for nine years. And I, it was great that I was here to help him. And so it was the perfect time to, to get back in, into the community. And, um, and since then, I've, I've really been blessed to have gotten involved with lots of different great nonprofit folks and and some of the great folks at Indiana Wesleyan you know um, Dr. Wright uh, is fantastic and um, John Jones I work with him a lot I'm on the community foundation sure I'm on yeah. the same committee as him the innovation committee and we've been looking at a lot of different projects to try to help Marion um, you know just have enjoyed working with United Way with Alicia Hazelwood, who's another dynamo that's really doing great things she in the community. Is. And then we've helped with Lisa Dominici with over at Family Services and, uh, and Iris. And, and that's what are you doing in your spare time? <laughs> um, uh, sing and do a little bit of art. And well, I, lo okay. I love my, my kids and grandkids, so it's fun. We do a lot of Zooms because they're not in the area. So that's probably Kim's And how own. many children have you? I have two daughters. Okay. Um, and one is um, the oldest, actually works for us. Uh, but she um, she is actually living in Mexico City. She met her husband through Lily. She worked at Lily after college, okay. after Xavier, and uh, and that's how they met. And so um, they're down in Mexico City. But she is as our marketing specialist, and she is on fire with everything she's doing for our company. Uh, some really great things. We have a new laminate is in campaign that we're launching right now, and we did a virtual launch uh, with a virtual wine tasting with um, the head merchants of Home Depot and Lowe's and okay. all of our customers and, and our and our laminate suppliers who create the, the beautiful laminates that we use. So, Have then, you um, exhibited your paint, paintings? No. Do you compete at all? No, I don't. I just, it's 
purely for enjoyment and for family enjoyment. Now, maybe if I get into it a little bit more down the road, I might try If it. we happen to see Greg Feebig sometime in the near future, why don't we suggest to him that there be an exhibit of your work? Oh, okay. Uh, that means I better start working a little bit more, <laughs> get a little bit more info there. So. Anything we haven't talked about that I've overlooked? Well, I just wanted to mention my other daughter, Caitlin. Yes. And, and Kristen and Javi have a little grandson. Um, uh, Javi that we enjoys tremendously and then our other daughter Caitlin is a uh, physician assistant and she works in Jackson Mississippi but we'll probably end up on the Gulf Coast down there that she ma married a young man she met in college who's from the coast and they would have gone to the same high school if we'd have stayed down there but they ended up meeting in college and now they're in Jackson and he's, okay. he's clerking with the uh, Chief Justice down there and then they're gonna head down he went to IU uh, uh, law school and she went to IUPA school. Chris Kennedy, we appreciate what you're doing for the community and I think you're having some fun doing it. I am. It's, it's a great time for everybody here in Marion and thanks Ed for what you've done over all these years and it's so great to be able to have this interview and share about the exciting things. It's been things. fun. Thank, Thank you. you.